All right, good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, thank you yesterday for being patient with me as we tried to get the videos to work. Um, one thing, if we're all trying to watch them at the same time, I think that's part of the problem and they keep promising me that they're still fine tuning that and trying to make sure that, um, that they're working. Please make sure you try to watch them and don't just pull up a random thing um, just so you don't have to redo your work. Um, but anyway, so thank you for being patient with me and just keep letting me know if something's not working and trying more than once and I really appreciate it. So today we're going to um, continue with your cylinder and try to make it look more like a 3D can and then um, work on an idea because kind of boring just to have a cylinder. Okay, so to start with, when I'm done, when you're done with the video, I want you to brainstorm. Um, what would you want to have preserved on a shelf and able to open at any time? So I want you to brainstorm at least five things that in real life could not be found in a can. So um, something that is just surreal, not like real life, but you think the idea would work well if you, or you would want to have it something that you could store on a shelf. Um, try to use an idea or concept that wouldn't normally be possible and try to think outside the box. We're not all doing the same thing. Um, I'm going to share my brainstorming list with you um, just to show you just because I don't have student examples to show you right now. Um, but I really want you to think about what you would and really do the brainstorming part. So five things. All right. And let me show you. So I'm going to draw with you. Um, the cylinder and make it look more like a can and then I'll kind of come back to our brainstorming. Okay, so yesterday, since I wasn't able to um, draw with you, I went to school today and got my document camera. Um, so yesterday, <clears throat> I asked you to draw a cylinder. So if you start out with an oval and I have to turn it sideways um, just so that I can actually draw correctly um, and you're gonna have the two sides and like we talked about yesterday in the video, if it's an actual can, a soup can, the width is going to be less than the length. So we want it to be a little bit um, taller than it is um, wide. And I'm drawing really lightly and I'm just fixing my lines as I go. Um, if you do that, you don't have to erase as much and it's not like darkening in the paper. So I'm just going to sketch in, kind of erase the extra lines I don't want but I'm drawing really lightly. That way I don't have to redo my whole drawing to kind of fix it. All right, so right now, eh, it's a cylinder, basic cylinder. But if you look at the top of a can or on a picture, if you don't happen to have a can at home, if you're looking at viewing it, you see this indent part here and we wanna show that. That's gonna help make it look more realistic. Now, some cans have this little thing where you pop open the lid and some you have to use an opener for. So that part's up to you, what you're viewing, but we wanna look at that and then also, if you're looking at this, you can see this line curves as it goes around. So if we do anything straight across, it's going to flatten it out. We want it to look like it's curving. So to start with, let's start with the top of the can. And I'm going to sketch in that line to make sure that it looks like it's indented down. Now on mine, <clears throat> there are extra lines in here. There's this part. I can observe that and look at it um, and kind of draw those things in if I would like to. It's up to you. Um, I have one that is finished like that. So I just looked at it, kept looking at it. I drew in that, shaded it, that kind of thing. I'm trying to make the video um, not as long as yesterday, so I'm not going to show you that part. So at the very least, you would want to include this edge here. And later on, when we talk about shading, we can shade this in so it looks like it's a different surface than um, the rest of it. And you can kind of go through and shade that in if the light source is coming from here this edge is gonna be a little bit darker and this is lighter. Okay, and then when we start adding the label, the label is, is ra it wraps around the can. So I'm gonna lightly mimic that same circle on the top and on the bottom. And you can decide where the label is, how wide it is. Um, for the most part, I wanna give myself an, enough room to add lettering and an image. So I'm gonna make the label pretty much take up the entire thing. Okay, so again, it's curved, curved, all right? So this, you wanna have at least this much added to it, curved lines, and again, you can look at the image I sent you if you don't have a can at home or you can set one in front of you. It's really good practice to work from real life if you can. If we were in the classroom, I would have had cans on the table for you to look at, 
Um, and again, like observing where those lines are, how you, um, you can make it look more three-dimensional. So everything has to be curved. We can't have anything straight across, okay? So then the next thing that we're gonna do, and again, if you draw lightly, you can kind of fix your lines. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure this looks like it's sitting on the table. So we wanna put some sort of horizon line behind it, table edge, horizon line, then it's grounded. And if my light source is coming from up here, I might decide that the shadow's this direction. You can figure out where you want the shadow to be later on when we start adding shading and color, or you can kind of sketch that in like the example I sent you yesterday. Okay, so again, drawing lightly, fixing all your lines that way. And then for the brainstorming part, this was my brainstorming. And I really, I want you to show me that you did brainstorm. So your job today is to show me the can that you have drawn. Now, some of you did turn in a drawing, but it was digital, and I really want you to work on paper for this. Um, you have that option to add the digital stuff for color later on. Um, <clears throat> but for right now, I want you to draw on paper. And then for brainstorming, at least five, you might need more. And it doesn't matter, some ideas work better than for others, so this was my literal brainstorming. So not literally a puppy in a can, just like the puppy, like puppy breath and puppy smell and how exuberant they are, something with a puppy came to mind. I love the beach, the warmth, the sand, the, the smell, all of that. So just being at the beach, like a location kind of in a can. Um, the warmth of sunshine today or yesterday, it was rainy um, all day and kind of cold. And so it just made me think that I would want to be able to open up and have sunshine whenever I wanted. When I'm normally driving to work, I always see the sun rising and the colors and all of that. So I was thinking, oh, if I could just open that up and ha see those colors that look painted for the sunrise. Time, I'm always running out of time, so extra time in a can would be great. Um, knowledge of something, again, this is just my brainstorm list. I'm gonna like get rid of ideas, use the ones I want. And I love panda bears, and if you could just pop up in a can and have a mini panda bear, I think that'd be awesome as well. So then I picked three that I, I was most interested in, and I started sketching out what I would show. So sunrise coming above the mountains with some trees, some clouds, and I would want the word color kind of written that way. For time, a stopwatch or some sort of um, clock that would kind of indicate that time could be stopped and started. Um, I'd have to work on that more. This is just my sketch. And then uh, like a panda bear hanging over the edge of something and then that listed as well. So this is my brainstorming. So I do want this from you then. <clears throat> For tomorrow, or for today, that is all I need from you. I want you to brainstorm and plan, think about letter styles, all of that, okay? So how do you want the letters to look? Please don't just say, oh, I'm just gonna write this out, check, good, no, that's not gonna work, okay? So I'm trying to break this up in steps, so we're doing little bits each day so it doesn't become overwhelming. So you may have to look up some fonts or play around with how you want the letters to look. What do you want it to say? Do you want it to say time in a can, stopping time, whatever your idea happens to be? I have to work on that a little bit. Eventually then tomorrow, we're gonna work on adding a label. So if I decided to go with sunrise color and I haven't decided that totally, um, we wanna make sure that we're working on our can. And again, you can wait until tomorrow to do this. On Thursday, I'll talk more about it. But we wanna make sure that we're drawing guidelines so our letters curve. And if they might wrap around the edge of the can, they might disappear depending on how long our word is. Now you might decide that you want your letters going vertical up and down the can. Um, what you're gonna end up having to do as your requirement is that you're gonna have to have the title, so some sort of lettering and an image that tells us what is going in the can. But again, you only have to do the brainstorming and planning. So you can either do it on paper, take a picture and send it to me, do a do Google doc, whatever, but I want a picture of your can and your brainstorming for um, your participation for tomorrow. And then I'll explain more what we're doing from there. All right, so let me see, just to um, visualize for you one more time. So brainstorm at least five ideas, um, type out or take a photo. 3D form, kind of adding those little details to make it um, look more realistic. And if you were writing on 
um, trying to draw this on your iPad. It's, it's weird. It's sketchy. I want you to actually draw on paper for this. And then you can plan out your logo, sketch out a plan. What is the lettering going to le look like and what image do you want to show on there? Um, and then that part is up to you. And then um, just send those, turn those in for tomorrow's participation. And then we will work on the final design and color tomorrow. Have a great day.